welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Naya Korea, and thank you for clicking. <laughs> so, as you're reading from the title, today I am going to do a video I am really, really, really excited about, and I hope you will love it. I hope you will click on it because this is like truly my passion, and it's called Mariah Carey. Yes, she was like one of the singers that taught me how to sing <laughs> when I started singing I was copying her so much <laughs> she is the queen for me she's like one of the best honestly uh, all those <laughs> the whistle voice and all it's it's just unbelievable I don't know how she does it um, so it's really fascinating to me and I was like just browsing on the internet and I had just had this idea to react to all her best live uh, performances and I looked into like a couple of videos but there was one that really really got my attention and it's called Times Mariah Carey was shook by her own vocal skills <laughs> by Mariah X Lambili. I already know this uh, account because uh, they post like a lot of stuff about Mariah and I decided to do on this one if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below let me know what do you think also um, if you like this video let me know if you want me to do another one about Mariah Carey because I'm always happy to talk about her and uh, yeah I will <laughs> so let's get into it <laughs> I'm already melting. Oh, that you down to me. Yes. Ah. I mean, we know this one. I've been practicing. So, uh, I've been practicing so much this run guys because I love uh, Vision of Love so um oh, 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 that's you. I really love it I really love it this freaking amazing wow ah yes go me what the recently so wow yeah I mean for all the people that say that Mariah has lost it I don't think so Guys, I don't know, this is the most difficult thing that I have tried to study, so I don't know how she does it. Uh, okay, don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, I think I think she was. I'm pretty sure. Oh wow, guys! I don't know how. <laughs> how? 
Ow! Ow! Are you? I don't. I don't think she's human. That's that's my conclusion. live performance with a whistle guys I mean I've tried to whistle a couple of times while singing a song and it's not the same thing as just whistling in the studio where you can just record it a thousand times like if I wanted to put a whistle in one of my songs I can just go to the studio and do it and do it like a thousand times and it will come out you know but or, or maybe do it in on a day where my because sometimes when my vocal cords are a little bit um, like tired uh i can whistle better uh if they are super super like uh fresh and like rested it's more difficult and this is because just like when you whistle sorry a technical digression wait to better explain just in uh not so technical words there is some parts of your muscle throats and some anatomy vocal cords um that you keep still for you to be able to do the whistle okay so i guess when the voices started you can whistle better um so it's so difficult like to just do it all the time right that's what i think like for me it's just difficult it's just to do it right all the time you know really good like wow this was like whistle mixed with head voice still I don't know what the hell how she does it I don't know I don't know between chest voice, head voice, is crazy. It's just crazy. This was, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is funny. Cause like that's what I do as well. When I'm not sure of like a note or something, and I'm performing it, I'm like, okay, I take up the mic, I just test it. Okay, yeah, it's good. So, <laughs> yes. say something okay when you are a real singer like Mariah Carey um, maybe your voice won't be great every day like uh, there is a lot of things that can influence your performance so like if you've been in a place where it's really smoky if you are smoked if you had a couple of drinks if you had a night out if you didn't sleep well if you have a cold like a thousand Thanks. Okay, so I feel like Mariah has already showed us that she can sing, you know what I mean? But like when you sing every day and singing is your career, and I'm telling you because I have to sing live all the time, like there's no playback allowed. So the thing is, 
you know, it's like, it's difficult. Sometimes your voice is really messed up and you you don't want to sing. And it's also a physical like work and you want to save your voice maybe for, um, I don't know, other shows that you really want to perform live and you want to do certain things and your voice won't be the same all the time. So yeah, I, I, I'm I okay with, with like, if, if she sings, you know, um, lip sync sometimes, well, so what? Like she already showed us that she can, so she doesn't need to do it all the time, you know? So that's my thing. I mean, first of all, I love this video. Thank you so much, Mariah, excellently, because this was really, really amazing. It was a, it was a really great selection of some of her best vocals performances, uh, live performances. Um, one thing that I have to say to people that um, think that Mariah has ruined her voice, uh, well, you just don't ruin your voice like that, you know what I mean? Like, yes, there is pathologies that you can get to your vocal cords, but it doesn't really happen like that. Mostly for somebody like Mariah that has a lot of technique. Yes, your voice will get tired when you perform it, and yes, you know, when you sing a lot, yes, you know, it's, it's a bit tiring, but it's the same thing as running every day. So if one day you run, I don't know, um, some kilometers and for like one hour, let's say you run or two hours you run and every day you run, it's not like your legs are going to fall off because you're running every day. That's the same thing with vocal cords. Obviously, if, you, if you're running like in a way where your muscles, they're not moving the right and natural way they should move, then yes, okay, that can happen. But like if you have technique and you're doing it the right way, there is no way that you can get pathologies. Like it's not something that you get like that, okay? I had it before. Um, I had some pathology like a long time ago when I first started singing like about maybe like 10 years ago. Uh, but then you can solve that, you know? So maybe that time that where she, she didn't sing and she couldn't sing anymore, maybe she got something, even if I really hide it out. I think just she was maybe going through a time over a period of time where her vocal her voice was affected by it. That's all. But I think Mariah she can sing as she was singing when she was young. Um younger. Younger because she's still young. I mean as she said, young uh age is, is just a number. It's just how you feel inside, you know? <laughs> So, um, with that being said, I mean, I think uh, she is the queen and she will always be, guys. <laughs> so, um, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, let me know in the comments down below what do you think about it. Love you so much. See you in the next one.